Hi everybody, this is Matteo at Architects 3D Printing. This is the first video of a new series that some of you requested in the comments of how to download Rhino video. I'm going to start with a beginner level series and if you like this kind of videos, maybe we'll make an intermediate and advanced level series too. In this video, I'll be giving you an overview of the Rhino 6 for Windows user interface. To start we have four default viewports, perspective, top, front and right. To assemble the perspective view, click and drag with the right mouse button. To zoom, hold the Ctrl key and click and drag with the right mouse button. And to pan, hold Shift and click and drag with the right mouse button. The right mouse button, click and drag on its own, will pan on the top, front and right views. And you can also control and click and drag right mouse button to zoom, like in the perspective view. To maximize a viewport, double click in the title tab. You can cycle through the viewports with the viewport tags in the bottom of the screen. To go back to the four views again, double click in the perspective tab and it will bring you to the four view format. If you have geometry in your view, you can select it with left click. You can select the control points for this geometry with another left click. And now you can turn on a manipulated object that is a gamble. It's right here in the bottom. So other options that we have in the status bar are grid snap to snap objects to the grid that we have here, as you can see. All snap is the ability to snap to objects on the screen where we are creating geometry. So if we activate all snap, now we can activate our snap points from here, for example, end, it will recognize the end. And for example, mid, it will recognize the mid point of this object. In Rhino, each feature is called a command. And you can access these commands by way of the toolbar groups. And you can notice how the left side of the screen, that is called the sidebar, changes depending on the tab that we have selected as we go to different toolbar groups. You can use the drop-down menus, or you can type, and this text will go directly to the command line. So for example, if you want to draw a line, you can click here and draw a line, or you can just write down line and click space or enter, and it's the same command. As you type, Rhino will show you all the commands that it knows with the letters you type so far. Over the right side of the screen, we have panels, and these panels can be hidden or shown by right-clicking on one of the panels, or using the drop-down menu in the top of the interface. You can float the panel by clicking and dragging its name tab, and release now you can add it to a separate panel bar or just bring it down together. And the viewport name has a drop down menu where you can change some parameters like the viewport mode of your viewport. You can change also what view this viewport uses, as well as the construction plane or other associated features for that viewport. And that's a quick overview for the Rhino 6 for Windows interface. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and follow us on social media at Architects3DP to be notified when a new episode of this series is uploaded. See you on the next video.